Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how I made these super cute graphic t-shirts. For this first step, I will be using freezer paper to create a stencil. Here I am just cutting the freezer paper to a size that will accommodate my design. It's important to note that there is a shiny and a dull side to the freezer paper. You want the shiny side to be face down at all times. To ensure that everything is lined up correctly, I used a ruler to draw out two straight lines for this first design. The next step is fairly simple. You're just going to use a stencil to write in whatever you want your design to say. If you would like the details on what stencils I'm using here, I will put all the information in the description box. Now that the first word is done, we're going to move on to the next line. It's important to make sure that there's space in between the first word and the second word, and also that your letters are lined up properly on the line. And in this step right here, I'm just going in with my ruler to fill in any gaps left by the stencil itself and filling it in and making that line. In this step, I'm using an X-Acto knife to go in and carefully cut out each of the letters. Once you're done, you can just carefully evaluate each of the letters and go back in where needed to make sure that the lines are as clear and crisp and clean as possible. At this point, you can throw away all the letters, but don't throw away the insides of your A's, R's, and P's. You're going to need them later. Before you lay your stencil down, iron the t-shirt flat and also cut off any excess freezer paper you might have. Next, you're going to want to position your design so that it's about two inches down from the collar and about two inches in from the seams of the arms. Now with my iron on its highest setting, I'm ironing the stencil onto the t-shirt. I'm pressing down firmly and carefully all over the stencil for about 20 seconds per section until the stencil is completely flush with the t-shirt. And now you'll see me adding the inside of the P's. I also did this for my A's and my R's. You're just going to want to hold down one side first while you iron down the other half so that it'll stay in place. And then just go ahead and lift up your finger and apply heat to the other side. And now the fun part, you get to go in and paint. I applied two layers of this paint. It probably wasn't necessary, but I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and thick once this whole process was over. Once I was done painting this t-shirt design, I moved on and started another one. I used the same exact steps. I cut out the design I wanted. I laid everything out just how I would like it to be laid out. And I went in, I ironed it, and I also painted it. For this last t-shirt design, I switched it up a little bit and got iron-on letters. I laid out the letters how I wanted it to be. It actually wasn't completely straight, but oh well. <laughs> I'm just following the directions that came with this brand of iron-on letters. And once again, I'll put all the details for what brand of iron-on letters and products I'm using in the description box below. As instructed, I turned all of the letters over so the plastic side was facing up and then I put a cotton cloth over the entire design and applied heat for 60 seconds, turned the t-shirt inside out and applied heat and then turned it back right side out, waited for the project to cool before removing all of the plastic from the letters. And 
let's not forget about the painted designs. Once this was completely dry, I went and started to remove the freezer paper, which actually proved to be a little bit more difficult than I imagined. I used a tweezer to get into the smaller, finer areas to peel all of the freezer paper away and reveal my design. And I am totally obsessed with how this came out. It's so cool, look at this. These t-shirts were like so much fun to make. I hope that you make some too. Know that you can do any design you want and I think that's the beauty of making your own DIY graphic t-shirts. Grab a friend or wear them with your friends at holiday parties or wherever. And wherever you are, I'm wishing you the happiest holiday ever. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.